All right, in my video today, I am going to demonstrate you a feature of a company catalogs and company settings to manage uniqueness of part numbers across multiple catalogs. So let's start from the company setting dashboard. So in this dashboard, I can select list of catalogs that will be company catalogs and OpenBOM will check uniqueness of part numbers. So at the first step, when I select catalogs, and I click on save, OpenBarn will check that uh, these catalogs don't have uh, non-unique part numbers. So in this case, when I do click on a save, I get an information that uh, this, uh, part, the catalogs cannot be included in the list of company catalogs because they don't have a unique set of part numbers, which means a part number from one catalog also exists in another catalog. And this is not what we want. So let's take something else and let's exclude the number. Let's exclude SolidWorks items, okay? So now I have a demo labor and I have demo food. So now let's go to these catalogs and demonstrate how uh, OpenBOM will protect you from adding duplicated part numbers, okay? So now let's me navigate to the uh, catalogs. So let's go to uh, demo uh, food catalog no, in the bottom. So demo food catalog, all right? So uh, this is my demo food catalog. So I have ingredients for the bill of materials with food. Well, let's take one of them. Let's take this uh, F0380 uh, part number. And now let's navigate to the labor. Let's navigate to the labor catalog. So it's, and I will try to add one more item here. Well, OpenBOM open, open, open is generating part numbers, but I don't want to generate part number. I want to use one of them that we already have in another catalog. So the moment of time I'm trying to put this number is what? OpenBOM is alerting you that you can't create duplicated part numbers. So here you see the mechanism of controlling part number across multiple catalogs. It also allows you to do it from the beginning. So when you're getting catalogs, let's say from different contractors, you can immediately check that you don't have an overlapping system of part numbers. But also it allows you to control you when you add part numbers to the catalogs. Needless to say that OpenBOM also provides you mechanism of part number setup where you can put a template for part number and to allow to catalog to auto generate part numbers. So now with these settings now, um, prefix and range, I can go and I can create the next part number in the catalog automatically. So that's how OpenBOM gives you a way to control part numbers also inside of a single catalog, but also across multiple catalogs. So that was all like with the company settings and catalog configurations in OpenBOM. Thank you very much. And we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.